Hi guys, here is one of the Basel World 2018 stunners from Maurice Lacroix. After enjoying a good success with the quartz version for the past two years, the Icon line gets a makeover and an automatic movement. The designer has refined and simplified the lines, giving them a more angular, modern and masculine appeal. While it is true that the overall impression has that Gerald Genta vibe found on the AP Royal Oak, the Patek Nautilus, the VC Overseas, the GP Laureato, etc, etc. In person, the appeal of the watch is massive. After all, there are only so many ways you can shape a watch, so it's kind of hard not to draw comparisons. The six polished hooks around the dial are part of Maurice Lacroix's DNA as they come from their successful Calypso line from yesteryear. That strong design element was revived as the Icon line a couple of years ago, thus the name Icon, as it is iconic to the brand's success. The Maurice Lacroix brand has been active for four years in Switzerland. It was set up on my birth year, 1975 actually. The parent company dates back to 1889 and you can read some details on the ML website on how it evolved until setting up its manufacture. Maurice Lacroix is a well-established name, making its own calibers with some stunning innovations such as the masterpiece Mysterious Seconds. So make no mistake here, you have a luxury product demonstrating great craftsmanship. With this model, they fill a price void, I think. You can buy the Icon in a skeletonized version with their in-house caliber, but it will cost you over four grand. So I think that they made the right move using, as a base for their automatic caliber ML115, a generic reliable movement that will also keep the servicing cost down. I could see them introduce a manufactured version of this full dial model in a couple of years. The watch is thin, advertised at 12mm, I actually see it as 10mm, a bit more if you include the arms around the bezel. That is thanks to the choice of a reworked, decorated and regulated Celita SW200 movement. So far it performs extremely accurately and doesn't look bad at all with the perlage and colimaçon decoration work, as well as the vertical Côte de Genève and sun brushed decoration on the rotor. It is also rhodium plated. The movement counts 26 joules, runs at 4 Hz and has 38 hours of power reserve. Celita is a well established modern Swiss movement provider. They also assemble movements for ETA actually. They are mostly famous for their ETA clones and they allow many brands to offer a competitive pricing option while focusing on the finish of their watches. The SW200 is, as you may know, a clone of the most common movement in mid-tier brands, the ETA 2824. ML has the skills to make their own movements and I have no doubt that they have reworked this movement with care to ensure adequate performance. They also sell some models online exclusively, which shows how dynamic and tuned to today's market they are. So the main focus has been on making the watch absolutely dazzling and well proportioned from all angles. I actually prefer the tapering of this bracelet to the one of other very expensive integrated bracelet watches. Notice how the brushing on the top of the watch is vertical all over the bezel and case. The beautiful bracelet is integrated, brushed all over except on the small beveled edge that beautifully lines up with the one on the case. The case side, like the bracelet, is horizontally brushed. There is a smart, easy change double pusher system to take off the bracelet, should you wish to clean it or swap it for the leather strap without the need of any tool. What a wonderful, clever feature. Weight-wise, this is a substantial piece of steel. The watch is well-balanced and doesn't feel heavy on the wrist, though. 
the bracelet is incredibly comfortable. It feels solid and doesn't rattle. There is lovely perlage work under the butterfly clasp. Closing it requires some positive effort so you don't feel like it could open itself by mistake. Notice the logo echoed on the underside. You get a really clean look once the clasp is shut. See-through case back on the movement, some information, most importantly a nice 200 meters of water resistance for this sporty and classy timepiece. I love looking at the case from the side and how the lugs angle to guide the bracelet ideally around my wrist. With my 17 cm wrist, this 42 mm piece wears perfect. There are no easy adjustments that can be done on the bracelet, but with a couple of half links present, you should be able to find the proper number of links to remove. I had four removed and it leaves just enough give to remain comfortable when my wrist swells up in the heat of the summer. The dial color is blue with a small pyramidal Clou de Paris texture. Needless to say, it plays wonderfully with the light looking quite often more grey than blue, which I think is good. It is not an aggressive blue color at all. I find it very elegant and somehow subdued, so it will age well when the blue dial trend fades. One of my favorite features is how clean the short rehaut is around the equally neat chapter ring. An application of air coating on the underside of the flat sapphire crystal helps enjoy the beauty of the execution. You can see for yourself the clean applied markers and rhodium plated hands, all of which have a thin application of superluminova, as well as the date window and date font. Maurice Lacroix, automatic, Swiss made are the only indications along with the logo and that is all that is required. The loom is superb, very sharp on those long thin surface. My loom picture doesn't quite capture how cool it is at night. Fully charged, it will last all night. I was surprised how long it still shone at 5 a.m. I also like how the separation within the six arms around the dial lines up with the button hour markers. The crown action is not the highlight of this watch, but that is inherent to the movement. Quite a long thread, but as long as it ensures 200 meters of water resistance, that's not a big issue. The unscrewing isn't perfectly smooth though. Winding requires some strength and it makes an unpleasant noise similar to the ETA 2824, as if you were forcing the movement and grinding it. The date change is easy though and clicks in nicely. Setting the time is slightly imprecise, so for the crown action overall I'd give it a 5 out of 10, as even low-grade Seiko movements are far more smooth and precise. The decoration of the crown ties in with the bezel. It is signed with the brand logo and its proportion is perfect. There are no crown guards here, not that any would be needed. This is a watch that you have to try on to really take in the power of its design. The white, kind of cream silver dial and the black dial versions are very, very nice, but the blue has the edge for me. The white dial makes the watch look much bigger, which would suit bigger wrists, while the black dial provides a more sober option. The blue, as I mentioned, isn't bright and more often than not turns to a shade of grey, so to me it's the ideal, as blue is my favorite color in general and works great with my clothes. The 42mm diameter is tempered by the integrated bracelet design, so you could wear this watch on slightly smaller wrists than mine. The chronograph version is a lot bulkier. I would really recommend trying it before making any online purchase. It doesn't wear at all like this three-hander version. So there you go, I am stunned by this watch. I went in by curiosity, I had a great experience here at Oriental Watch in the center of Hong Kong. The shop is absolutely beautiful with a bar and cozy reception area for VIPs at the back of the lower level. They have any brand you can think of in the luxury segment, so you can really try on all the watches you've been eyeing on the web and get a good feel of how they work for you. 
I got a nice 30% discount on this piece, which normally retails near the $2,000 price point. I paid $1,500, which I think is just right given the quality of the watch. The polishing around the bezel is mirror-like. The brushing has that raw handcrafted quality, the dial is mesmerizing, and the overall feel is spot on. A couple of drawbacks of this watch. The edges of those claws on the bezel are very sharp, so it's not an ideal watch to be playing around your kids with if you don't want to risk slashing their faces. I'm not a fan of the crown action, as I've mentioned. And finally, you will have to put up with Royal Oak homage comments, at least on social media, because in person, this watch stands on its own as an undeniable excellent piece of design. I hope this review has been helpful. Speak to you in the next video. Bye bye, guys. The dial is mesmer. The dial is mesmer. The dial is mesmerizing. And the overall feel is spot on.